Hey everyone, pause around checking out World of Horror. This is a game that is currently on Steam and Xbox Game Pass. It is an early access slash beta, I guess. Uh, and it will also eventually be available on consoles like PS4 and Switch. It is a uh, horror adventure game inspired by the likes of Junji Ito and HP Lovecraft. Uh, so I should say, first and foremost, uh, there is some disturbing imagery in this game. If you are not into that, I would maybe only listen to the video or cut away or or something. Um, yeah, this is definitely there's some gore, there's some horror, there's some some body horror stuff going on. Uh, it's pretty disturbing. Also, personally, I don't know why, but the lo-fi aesthetic kind of freaks me out. Lo-fi things always kind of kind of freak me out for some reason. Um, even though I grew up with this stuff, maybe that's why. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I will go through probably the what I would consider the tutorial uh, mission. Um, I should also note beforehand, um, there's a couple of, there's a whole bunch of aesthetic things we can do with this. Um, I can't get back here. Actually, wait, can I? No, I can't quite get back here. But you can change the color palette and stuff as well. I'm going to go with the default color palette, but you can get, make it look like, you know, EGA games and, and things like that. Um, this also is a roguelike to an extent. A lot of this stuff is randomized, a lot of this stuff is uh, generated on the fly. Um, in the base game, there's basically like a... Uh, oh boy. Uh, you can get a, a sequence of like five stories that you need to work through, but we're going to do through the single story. So the, the spine-chilling story of S School Scissors. So we're in the city of Shokama, Japan, 1980X, something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also unknown threats. Old gods and malicious elders beings who ruled the Earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. The train slows down, stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand. You finally arrived in the doomed town. All right, so uh, it should be noted that this is kind of in the style of old adventure games, which means that there is a lot of information here. Um, the number of things you can do is kind of massive. So in the lower right, we've got uh, items. Um, we can check our spells and our status. Uh, the options, can I mess the color palette in here? I'm not sure I can. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, that one's really nice looking actually. Um, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of color palettes you can go through. Uh, there's your, your kind of EGA there. But uh, I'll go to the standard for now. And let's see. There we go. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so the story so far. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag in the nursery. It's a race against time, you can't rest until our town is safe. Uh, we will start the mystery. Spine chilling story of the school scissors. Another boy from her school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave, a woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You know your friend was up to something when he left his notebook full of cryptic notes. And send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, he decided to study the notebook for clues. Details of ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst that could happen? Alright. The rumor is true. To stop the tall woman with scissors, you need to perform ritual force for material forms to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and the lighting of whole candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. So there's a few things we can do here. I know first and foremost we can check out the school lockers. Um, an important message to say, important messages will appear down below here. You can see my cursor. Alright. So we can open this and we find a wooden bat. Wooden bat is a weapon. It's two-handed. Has a base 70 chance to hit, 80 speed, and 4 damage. We will equip that. Get more information about it. Used by the uh, team there. Um, let's see. If we open this, we can't. We need a tiny key. Uh, what about this one? Oh, yeah. Don't want to open that. Yeah, what's that? We have no idea. All right, let's, let's get back out of here. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Uh, so let's explore the school. Oh, hello. A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. 
I'll be your new biology teacher because you helped me move my stuff to my new office. Uh, how about no? Oh dear. She suddenly grabs your hand. Oh, I insist. Mine is too reason. So if we lose all of our reason or our stamina, we die. Okay, we'll help her. We had a successful luck check. Creepy substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, we find one called Extension of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. We have plus five experience. We can use that to level up. Um, so we haven't found the chocolate, we haven't found the candles. Something as horrible is happening. Uh, I don't know if we can level up in this uh, kind of tutorial mission. Uh, let's continue exploring. We don't have enough information for the ritual just yet. Strange black now propped up against the wall. Uh, we don't have the anatomy class perk, so let's go closer. Oh boy. Dollars and a dollar. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse. Great! Um, the blessed chunk was left on the roof. Let's peek outside. Uh, what's out here? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Alright, we'll continue to explore. On the roof, you find the girl your friend was talking about. In one hand, she holds a bag, in the other hand, a pair of bloody scissors. Oh, no. Alright, so we're now we're in combat. We're marked by the Scissor Lady. Or, she's marked by the Zimaru. So they have 12 HP. Um, looks like she does uh, reason and stamina damage. She has 15 power, which makes it harder to hit. Uh, we can do a ton of things. I'm going to use basic combat stuff here. Um, we can do attacks. Uh, we can do support actions. Now this is actually being changed. Um, I know that actually just saw a post on Twitter that they're changing this to be a little more, a little more intuitive and a little more impactful. Uh, we could defend here. Do we have like a dodge or anything? Uh, yeah, it takes a lot of time to do that. Though. Let's try it though. So we'll do that, and then 65% uh, chance to hit is pretty solid. It takes 80 time though. So we really only fit one of these in here. Oh, it takes 59 time. Um, and I can also clear this sequence, so I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to dodge. And then I'm going to do a boost here. That'll take 189. Alright, we'll launch the sequence. So it'll resolve. Um, we did 4 damage. Okay, not bad. Now, I think our better option here is to just attack. Um, so we're gonna prep, so guaranteed to hit. This will do enough damage, this will do 8 damage. And we got 8 experience. Okay, so we copied the Citadel on the Blackboard, hopefully it will be enough. Um, we can actually change the shape of the Citadel. Uh, I don't know the proper shape. So that's gonna be problematic, there's also a car horn outside. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know the intended shape. Should be correct now. What was the design? Should be correct now. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, we need the holy candles though. So the schoolyard. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. It says an old man, anatomy model. Heart, heart is still beating. The sight makes you sick. Minus one stamina. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Okay. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you're not the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she's getting closer. Oh dear. She's got 10 HP. We've got a bat. Uh, I think we'll take a dodge right off the bat. And we'll do... We'll do a guaranteed hit here. Oh, I can't. Takes too much time. Right, we'll do the dodge, and then we'll boost this up. And we dodge the attack, nice, okay. Uh, I think we can just finish this attack here. There we go. So we'll do eight damage. Nice. We found something. It's a steak knife. Uh, we'll resolve combat. 
Found the holy candles. Everything is ready for the ritual. Uh, steak knife is lower damage, but faster. Uh, yeah, we'll equip that. We're ready for the ritual. Let's do it. Wait, what's that? Oh boy. Sigil and Holy Candles don't seem to have any effect on the Heart of a Monster. Had you drawn it wrong? Ah, I thought I made it go and right. So Frozen and Fury watch the Twitching Heart gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks, Am I beautiful? Sure. Demon Woman enters the classroom. Alright, so this is the Scissor Woman. A horror. She's got 26 HP. She does a ton of damage relative to what we're doing, and she's very hard to hit. So I think we'll open with a dodge here. Um... I don't know if we if there's a way to predict if she's going to do a special attack. Um, we could regain some stamina at the cost of, or some reason at the cost of stamina. Um, we can also do a ritual, but I don't know any sort of rituals right now. Um, we do cauterize. Um, so we can get plus one stamina one time only. Not a bad idea, I'll keep that in mind. Um, I think for now actually we'll just attack. And we'll do guaranteed hits to start here. We can also do a strong attack. Hmm. Maybe I should try that. Can we get two of those out there? We can get one. Raises her scissors. So maybe I can block here. Um, yeah, we'll brace for impact. And then we'll... Uh, We'll do an attack. Actually, I'm gonna go back here. We'll brace for impact, and then we'll do maybe a guaranteed attack. It takes 40 and 45, so we need 95 here. We don't have enough for that. Uh, we can do a strong attack. We missed. We sustained a new injury, slip mouth. Oh dear. Not good. Minus one charisma, minus one strength. We're still alive. She's down at 12 HP. She cackles menacingly. Maybe we can brace for impact again. And try another heavy attack. See if we can hit, hit this. We missed. Uh, she stabbed me. We're not doing so well here. We should be guaranteed to hit here. Oh boy. Our reason is really, really low. Uh, I think we're going to need to... Meditate. Um, I think we're going to cauterize as well. well. That's instant. That's interesting. So we'll actually meditate twice. And then we will... Power attack. New injury slip out. So we have both sides now. That's that's not good. Yes, smile indeed. Well, we can we can certainly finish this off uh, with guaranteed attacks. We should attack first. Got her. Resolve combat. Ancient heart lies dead in the classroom floor. Slowly dissolving. Don't think it's the only thing left over. Scissors. You stare at them, unsure what to feel. Something tells you want to keep them. You need them. Very slowly, you pick up the scissors. Your mouth widens in a smile. Ending B. Mm, perhaps we have become the next scissor horror. So that's a that's a playthrough of uh, of one of the things. So now, actually, I'll show real quick. If we go into a new story, and uh, we can go into extracurricular activities. So this will set up the the main game, and I just want to show off basically the different uh, things that we can do here. So there's an old god rule: uh, casting spells raises doom instead of its normal cost. Uh, the backstory is a world of horror character exclusive perk cards only. Uh, so no, we're not first time playing. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. Flesh regrowth. Ooh, interesting. We can get stamina, but we lose max stamina. Um, so we can always go back to our home. Um, this mailbox is pretty horrifying. Uh, but there's all sorts of stuff we can do here. We can um, restore some of our Reason, I believe. We can change clothes, we can watch TV. We go through the peephole. Hmm, nothing going on there, although there's some eyes back there. Uh, we see what we have in storage. 
um, and then we can we can head out. So we can take down any of these five mysteries. For example, we can go to uh, the alarming account of abnormal arms. And this is a different story. Woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of fourth century. The killer has never found the apartment remained vacant. Investigate the circle location as you progress. The location of the rules may change. Interesting. You can investigate downtown. Hmm. You can cast one spell without paying anything. No, I don't think we actually want to. Now it wants us to go to the apartments. Mr. Zero Zero Zero. Hmm. He was a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a new sense into his new story. Um, what's this picture? Oh. Painted thing. Something truly evil has you in its grasp. Oh dear. Investigate the hospital twice. As part of the therapists and patients took part in our class, some of their work fills you with dread. Minus two reason. Following the ghastly music, you find yourself in the forest. The sound is getting closer. Oh, good god. Ribcage woman. Great! Uh, we actually don't have a weapon, so we're just gonna have to kick a lot. Ribs expander feeling a disfigured face. Uh, we'll just kick our way to victory here, I think. The Anatomical Museum archive displays a specimen with the elongated arms and jellified bones. We lost one reason. Alright, so we solved that. Now it wants us to investigate the apartments again. Oh boy. People point and talk about a man on the other side of the street. He looks confused, muttering to himself while occasionally touching a festering wound on his cheek. You stop in your tracks and listen to the man's curse incantation. You can gain a spell. When your allies die, a random status gets raised by one. Hmm. It's a ritual. So we have that active ritual. Uh, I guess we have to investigate the apartments again. Oh. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore between Sasha tries to explain what happened. She's taking a shower and the shower head started spraying blood. Uh, let's check it. Don't enter the bathroom. Instead, you go straight into the building's boiler room. One pipe coming from the ground looks like it's welded to the central system. Where does it lead? One neighbor's complaining about her underwear missing. Alright. A real lord and savior? Yeah, we'll listen. This is a terrible idea, but we'll listen. Oh, humanity is doomed. Minus 5% doomed, minus 3 reason. Alright. Weird noises coming from the vents. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. Know you're there. Yeah, what's the matter? The door's letter box suddenly opens and an unknown and very tries to look inside. But you stand still. A couple minutes, the man retreats. Probably unsure if you're home at all. We got some experience for that. Rustling on the other side of the apartment door. Oh my god, it's an apartment stalker. Fantastic. Great. We still have a weapon. Um, he's got a lot of health. So we'll kick him for 8 damage here. We missed once. We have a concussion now. Minus one knowledge. Bummer. Yeah, unfortunately, we, uh, we don't have any weapons or anything like that, so we're just kind of bashing away here. He lunges at us. When we were surviving, oh boy, hit me in the head. That seemed to do a lot of damage. Got him though. Uh, we got a baseball bat. Okay. 
We could discard him, we could trade it in. Investigate the boiler room. Enter the dark boiler room and trip over a pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasping hard, it's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in the ventilation shaft. Something vile and rotten. Oh, it's a, that's a person. Wide open stare at the dead part of his long eight limbs stretching, disappearing in the vent's darkness. Find a tiny key. Great. After the police arrived, the whole building was searched, following the arms. The detectives find a body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later, he's identified as the building caretaker. And we found all the photos and other such things, underwear and whatnot. That was ending A. And we get some knowledge, we get some uh, experience, doom is lowered, uh, we get some healing, and time passed. The old god stirs. Roads are now closed. Um, I don't know how we level up. There's a key here. Uh, and the key is for the lighthouse, basically. Perks. Um, can't level up yet, um, but just to show it off. All right, how do I get out of here? Uh, I guess we need to. St oh no, let's go back to time screen. So we can go to the lighthouse, uh, and we enter here. There's all these things that need keys. So we can open lock A, I believe. Oh, we don't have the key for that one. All right, so we do have the key for B, um, but none of the rest so far. And I'm assuming something happens when we when we go there. But uh, yeah, so this this is World of Horror. Uh, I'll just exit my game here. Uh, it's it's very interesting. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's really creepy. Um, it's pretty light on on jump scares. There's some you know sudden imagery like the guy in the vent, but it's typically not associated with a particularly loud sound and things like that. So it's pretty pretty low on jump scares. Pretty high on creep factor. Uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed the video. Uh, click like, helps a bunch. Subscribe for more. Pick this up for yourself. If you're interested, again, reminder is in early access. Thanks for watching. See you soon.